Shall we go to the phone lines? Yeah, I, for, I forgot about Emil Smith who came back yesterday. He's, that's, that's, that's another option. And, well, you're playing him on the right, right? He's not an option down the middle. If, no, you, need no, goal, if you need goals. You no, know, he's. But he was he's, our joint top goal scorer last season. Was he really? Yeah. Okay, but well, that is surprising. Mm. Listen, I think he's a fantastic player, oh, wow. but he he's not the number nine. No. He's a, a little. I'm not comparing the two, but the start in my mind, the style of football they play, it's a little bit Jao Felix like. Mm. He'll play one of the front three, or maybe just behind if Odegaard's yeah. not not playing. But I don't another, see him as a number no. nine. It's no, he's not number another, nine, but it's just another option. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, let's talk to Arsenal fans, shall we? Joseph is one of those. Hello, Joseph. How are you? I'm all right. How are you, mate? I'm good. I'm very well, thanks. What would you like to say now? You're on national radio. Oh, I was saying how um, to the court to um, the producer that Nketiah has scored 17 goals in 24 starts for Arsenal. Um, I'm not saying he is on the levels, not nowhere near the levels of the top strikers, Kane Harlem, but those are the stats that would draw any big club to sign this kind of striker. And then when Hades comes back, you've got two top strikers. There's absolutely no reason why Arsenal need to sign an out-and-out number nine. Personally, winger, other than Saka, we need that Mudrick guy, which looks like it's going to happen. But other than that, I don't see why we should be in the market for a striker. Mm. And you know what, Joe, when you look at it and what Enketi has done, he's he's certainly given a lot of yeah. Arsenal fans confidence. But also as well, you don't have to force anything because when you start looking around for a centre forward, there's not many about. No. Do you know what I mean there's, there's not like there's one obvious one we'd go... Yeah, we'll have him. There just doesn't. There seems to be a real shortage. Like that, that horse. Uh, Craig's in Arsenal. <laughs> Thanks for your call, Joseph. Craig's up next. Hello, Craig. Hi, guys. You okay? We're good, very well. How are you doing today? I'm not bad, Andy. Can I just say I miss you on the sports bar? It's good to hear from you again. On me, I don't often get to listen to Drive, but um, okay. it, it's, good, it's good to hear your dulcet tones. Thanks. <laughs> Why don't you listen to Drive much? Because I'm normally sleeping because I work nights. Oh, I see. Mm. Okay. You know, you've got the option to listen again on the free to download app. I do, I do, yeah, and I promise I will. Okay, good, good boy, Craig. Well, listen, it's lovely to have you on this show. What would you like to say? Um, just basically, um, it was about, I said to a producer that when, when Hagen's got injured, I must admit I was panicking a little bit because I never really rated him that much um, in Kea. And then since he's come in and done a job, he's actually changed my mind. And um, I just think he's, he's a good option for us. And if Hazelus was fit for Sunday, I would start and get it over him. I, I know Gabriel Hazelus does a lot for us, but he wasn't scoring goals. And I just say, I'm just basically that Nketiah has definitely changed my opinion now. Mm. Okay, Craig, thanks for your call. I'm going to rattle through as many Arsenal fans mm. as I can. Uh, Peter's up next. Hello, Peter. Hello, uh, gentlemen. How are you, Peter? You well? I'm fine. Just a couple of points. People, all these Arsenal supporters, I'm mad of Arsenal, of Arsenal, but all these Arsenal um, people funny. I don't know. It's not the greatest yeah, night. No. Can we get Peter back? Because it says on my screen, just to tell you a brief synopsis of what each call is going to say, he's going to say that Eddie Nketiah isn't good enough for the Arsenal. Mm. So, so but if, you're get, you are going to get fans out. But, uh, but what more does he need to do? Just keep scoring. Consistency. Just yeah. keep scoring goals. Hopefully we'll get Pete back while we're doing that. Lee's a Man United fan. He's up next. Hello, Lee. Hi, I'm Lee. Hi, Benny. How do you, mate? You're you good? You well? Uh, yeah, nice one. Yeah, just on my, way, on my way down to the United game now, okay. but I am calling for uh, about Eddie and Kate. I, uh, my best mate, he's a, he's a big Arsenal fan, so we watch a lot of Arsenal games and we like to banter each other off uh, about players and performances. Um, I like Eddie and Kate, yeah. However, that, the record that the, the fellow went on about previous to you, he's not scored a lot of goals against good clubs. I think when he came up against Newcastle the other night, he, he wasn't very good. You know, he was found out, not found out, that's probably right, he's too young to be found out, but he didn't put in the performance that Arsenal need up front to win a league. And I think he'll be, uh, these next few games, he's got City coming up at some point, he's got Spurs at the weekend, they've got United the week after. I think that'll be a real telling moment for Enketia. Um and for Arsenal, in all honesty. Um, Lee, let me ask you, do you think they need to spend then? No, do you know what? I think it's really tough when you play these, these formations. The same for any club. You saw what happened, Jesus went to Arsenal because City, you know, they've had someone in, they were getting Haaland. He wouldn't have wanted to play second fiddle any longer. It'll be the same for United when they sign a big striker. What will Martial want to do? And it'll be the same, you know, for Jesus will be that number one. If Enketia scores a lot of goals... Arsenal, they need the squad. I get that, but he's going to want to play every week, and um, that'll be that'll be the hard thing for him. If he doesn't score a lot of goals, I think he's a good player. He's a good backup player. 
Uh, he reminds me a bit of Fernandez for United, if that makes sense. Comes yeah. in, scores a goal, works hard. Yeah. Um, so I'm not knocking his, his, his ability. I no, think I, th- you know, I, think, I think he does. I mean, he's got a good goal against Brighton, who are doing well. They're eighth in the Premier League. He's got two at Stamford Bridge back in the last season. Scored against West. He scored four goals in his last five games, mm. but you can only score who you're up against. Uh, let's quickly go back to Peter, who's an Arsenal fan. Hello, Pete. Hopefully, we can hear you now. All right, gentlemen. Hi, Pete. Off you go. Yeah, let, I think people have just got to remember that we played Oxford last night. And um, <laughs> even before um, Jesus got injured, everybody was saying we need another striker in case he does get injured. Now, Arsenal are going for the for the title. I don't want Arsenal to throw away all the good work by not going and signing a world-class striker because even without Jesus, we do need a world-class striker because it's where we're heading. It's where our all the good work now is all in place. We've got rid of all our bad players. Well, We've P- got Peter, of, Peter, I understand yeah. that, but you tell me a world-class striker that's out there that you can get. Well, um, the guy that the, the guys at uh, the one who's at Juventus, Tammy Abrahams. I think Tammy Abrahams is the one player Arsenal should get because just like Tam, uh, Danny Welbeck, he hustles and bustles and defends from the front. And it's ta- oh, listen, I, I like Tammy, but you talk about a guy yeah. he's got four goals this season. Arsenal had a big problem of we had a lot of bad players at our club when we was down backwards. We got rid of most of them. And I'm going to say it out now. We could, we need to get rid of Holding as well because if anything happens to that back four and he comes in, Arsenal will drop off the pace because he's a he's a championship player, and you can't have him in your team. We you had I, I, I wouldn't say Pete. I wouldn't say that he's Thanks, a championship Pete. player, Rob Holding. I mean, but he has made mistakes. But I, I would like to see another centre back coming, if I'm honest. But then you've got one there because if obviously if one exact happens to one of them two, Ben White goes mm. into centre half, Tommy Esu goes in at right back. So. But now, listen, I think Eddie's done really well. I think he's, he's scoring goals. I think he is convincing, turning people's opinions. But it's about consistency. He's got to keep it going. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.